Hey everyone, Jason Boone here from Premium Beat. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom effect presets in Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll take a look at how to customize an effect in the Effect Controls panel, go over how to save a preset in the Effects panel, and learn how to export our final custom effect presets to share with others. So let's get started. panels that we're going to be working with here. So we want to make sure that our workspace is configured properly. An easy way to do this is simply click on the effects workspace shortcut here. And if you can't see it, you can go to window workspaces and then select effects. And this will give us our effects panel here, our effects controls panel here, and the timeline. For this tutorial, I'd be creating a video transition preset, but remember you can create an effect preset for a variety of different properties. Basically any of these properties here that you can change or add keyframes to, you can create a custom effect preset for. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a four second clip, and what I want to do is I want to add a two second, uh, basically like a fade in. It's going to fade in and scale down a little bit, and it's also going to have a blur effect. Then we're going to save this out as an effect preset. So let's go ahead and start our animation here. We'll go to two seconds and then add some keyframes here. We'll add a scale and we're gonna add an opacity. Then we'll come back. So we want it to kind of scale down a little bit as it fades in. So we're gonna bring our scale up to 115 and then we're gonna bring the opacity down to zero. So now I've added these four keyframes here so if you look, and in the timeline you can see it here, our opacity keyframes. So it's a nice two second scale down, fade up. So now let's add an effect here. Let's add a blur. So, and we're gonna add a Gaussian blur here. Go ahead and drop it on. And then this is basically gonna come from a little bit blurry, and then it's gonna come into sharp focus here. So we want it to go from Let's do like 35 here and click repeat edge pixels. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so we have our effect. Now how do we save this out as a preset? We wanna select here, and now you basically need to select all the properties that we've adjusted or added keyframes to. And to do that, you can just hold command and for some reason, shift doesn't seem to work, but if you hold command, I'm gonna select the scale, the opacity, and the blur effect. And then if you go to the panel drop-down menu here in the effect controls panel, there's a save preset button. And that'll bring up the save preset dialog box here, where you can simply name this two second blur fade in. And we'll write in the description here, Two second fade in with blur effect. And you see the type here, we have three different types, scale, anchor to endpoint, and anchor to out point. And we're gonna leave it at scale right now. So select okay. And now if we go to our effects panel and we go to presets, you're gonna see right here at the top is our effect preset that we just created. Now, if we zoom out here, I actually have three clips. Now these three clips are the same clip, only just different lengths. So here we have, this clip is actually eight seconds, this one's 12 seconds. So let's go ahead and add our effect preset, our two second blur fade into this clip here. Now if you look, I just added the preset here and it's looking like it's a little bit longer. So if we drag it up on top just to see, you can see it's actually twice as long. And the reason this is happening, if you double click on your preset here, it'll relaunch the preset properties. This scale, like I said a few seconds ago, there's a type, there's three different types you can have. And with scale, basically what this is doing is, is it's proportional to our source clip here. So in our source clip, we have a four second clip with a two second effect here. So now when we apply this with a scale type, it's going to scale it proportionally to the duration of the clip. So this clip is twice as long, so it's basically going to make our effect preset twice as long. So that's why that's happening with the scale. So if we were to change that to anchor to endpoint, it's gonna do exactly what it says. So now let's drop this over here on our third clip. 
And if you look here, we have a two second fade in. Uh, there we go. And if we move to about here, you can see it's right same distance here. And just as it sounds with our anchor to out point, now what this is gonna do is again, in relation to our source clip, our source clip here is a four second clip with a two second fade in. Now anchor to out point is going to calculate it based on your last keyframe and the keyframe that is closest to your out point. This duration here is what it's gonna anchor your effect to. So if we remove the effect off this third clip here, and then we reapply it now with the anchor to out point selected, it should anchor it to our out point with that two second duration there. So those are the three different types there. Now, so we have our effect preset. Let's get it organized here. So we can create a custom preset bin simply by right clicking or control clicking right on the presets folder here and just click new presets bin. And then I'll call this Boons Transitions and then drag it in there. And now we've got it nice and organized. And now if you wanna share this effect with other people, or let's say you create a bunch of effects that you wanna say sell online or just hand off to another editor that's taken over one of your projects, you can simply select the effect, go up to your panel drop down menu and select export presets. Now I will just create a folder here, Boons Transitions, and we'll title this two second blur fade in. And it's gonna save it as a Premiere Pro filter preset file. And it's just as simple to import presets. So let's say someone hands off a bunch of presets to you, you can simply go to the panel menu, import presets, select the presets, and then they will be available to you right here in the effects panel. There's a lot you can accomplish with custom effect presets. And again, for this tutorial, I created a custom video transition effect, but you can create custom presets for any property you like, including audio and color correction properties. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.